Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to make animated signatures using GIMP. Um, right now I have a plain white screen up. It's 400 by 150. This is the normal size I use to make signatures. What I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to hit it with a standard black color in order to make it easy for things to be seen. In order to give it a little bit of life, I'm going to add a a little bit of uh, blood spatter, actually. I kind of like this um, uh, brush I have. It's kind of cool. Kind of gross, but you know, kind of cool. Ew. After doing this, um, what you are going to do is simply to uh, right click. Go to Layer, New Layer. That will bring up this box right here. You want Transparency, and then just hit OK. Then all you have to do is select the first image you want to be in it. Hit Copy, and paste it right on in. Now, the images you put in, you can mess around with however you'd like, you know angle them, fade them, whatever you want. And then what you're going to do is you are going to anchor it in so that's part of the layer that you made. And then you're going to right click, layer, new layer. And then you can bring up the next image you want. Copy it. I normally just use control C. Paste it in, control V. Uh, locate it where you want it, anchor it, and then layer, new layer, and really it's just a uh, repeat of the same process over and over uh, for the images you want in it to be animated, but you need to be careful because too many of the images will make for a very very large data SIG and that can be troublesome on many websites and forums. What I'm going to do is uh, by doing this this way all these images will animate and then uh, I'm going to have animated text come up once they are gone. Uh, what I like to do my animated text like this I have them come up a couple of words at a time and for this it's just going to be real easy. I'm going to start off with Hello, I'm. And then you're going to want to make the box larger so that it will be easier to handle later. And you just leave it like that and you hit close. And then you're going to uh, right click. Or no, you're not going to do it there, I'm sorry. You're going to go to your layers tab right here. And then on that top layer of text, right click it, duplicate layer, and then it's going to bring up two layers. One's going to be the original, and the other one's going to be copy. Select your uh, text tool, click in it, and it'll bring up the text that you already had, and you also can add something else. Hammer of the Irish. Thank you. And then you can do close. And then repeat the same process. Duplicate layer, text, brings it up. For watching this. And then close it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, filters, animation, blend, and bring up this box right here. Uh, for the intermediate frames, the higher the frame count, the slower your animations will be. So if you have a lot of text that people are going to have to read, I'd recommend a frame of 35 to about 40. But if it's just images or a little bit of text, then keep it as low as you can because uh, the more frames, the larger a data file it's going to have to be and the harder it is for some websites to have. Max blur radius, I always keep it 3, and you must always have it set to loop. And then you hit OK, and you sit back and wait. 
depending on how many pictures and uh, text you have in it, it can take anywhere from you know about 30 seconds to this one I made it took almost five minutes to convert. Um, I'm going to pause the video here so you don't have to sit through it. Okay, our uh, script view blend has been running for a while now, and it should be almost ready. In the uh, description of this video, I will have a link to the signatures that I have created, and if you'd like to browse them, feel free. If you'd like to take one as your own, modify it any you want in order to put like, your name in or something, also feel free to do so. Just let me know that you did. Um, if you'd like to request a signature for me to make you, I can also do that. I am more than happy to make those at any time. Okay, our script is done, and now we have this beautiful little box. You can go to Filters, Animation, Playback. This brings up another window. Looks like this. You can hit play in order to see what we made. See how one image fades and the other comes up and then the other. Then you have the text. Hello, I'm Hammer of the Irish. Thank you for watching this. And then it just plays always because you had it to loop. Feel free to uh, modify this in any way. This is just how I did this one image. Normally when I do a uh, text, I will do uh, a static image and moving text, or I'll do uh, moving images and static text. I uh, normally don't combine the two, but you can. I just haven't really come up with a theme that looks good with it yet. Uh, please rate and uh, comment to this video. If you would like me to do any other videos for GIMP, just uh, let me know and I will see what I can do. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and may you have a nice day, and God bless.